Hey everyone, welcome to Power Plays. Today we're going to be uh, playing a bit of a Metal Gear Solid 5. In particular, we're going to do Mission 16 and try to get a rank S. Um, I'll explain later um, why we're doing this mission and focusing on this mission. So, uh, for the meantime, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the gear first. Uh, you want to be extra prepared with this one, so I'm equipping. Uh, level 2 shotgun, I forgot the name, sorry, as well as a rock launcher, uh, the FBMR uh, launcher. As for the support weapons, we're going to need some C4 for this one, and for the items, well, I think we're good on that. Now for the buddy, you might want to go with D-Horse on this one as quiet will be a little useless in my perspective, so... Um, also, as for your armor, we're going to go ahead and wear the bat battle dress because things might get a little uh, heated later on. And um, Now, as for Mission 16, I know there's a couple of other missions out there that's harder than this one, but uh, for first time, uh, if, if you're going through this for the first time, it's a little sneaky because um, there's a special unit that, unit before the end of the mission that you need to face um, but also I've seen a lot of guides um, on mission 16 which are well basically just shortcuts to getting a rank S um, personally I believe that takes away the fun of the, the mission because this mission is very ex exciting so what we're gonna do now is um, do kind of a longer version of this one, as as the shortcut basically involves you heading over to the airport uh, straight away and then jacking up the truck because um the primary objective is to recover um, the the cargo on the truck and so you'd have to take out the truck as well. So um, I'm gonna go and uh, head over to that yellow marker on the map, scout the air. That's an outpost actually. So instead of heading straight, as I mentioned, heading straight to the airport, we're gonna go through the outpost first and then um, an in through the intersection a, li a little a little later. We're gonna go ahead and scout this these ones first. I know in particular there's like six guys in here, so. And, oh yeah, before I forget, I've actually done this mission, but I, I failed. <laughs> because I wasn't prepared enough uh, to deal with the issues. I did not expect the, the, the skull unit to appear. And yeah, there we go. That's why I um, equipped the weapons and armor earlier. Because the skull unit will be making an appearance in this mission. So um, now that you scouted the, the outpost, you want to go ahead and head on and... I guess take him out <laughs> because you know if no one sees then you won't get caught right I'm gonna start off with this guy and move on to this guy right here and this guy and this guy right here I can't aim oops there we go oops oops I'm not sure if I hit him I know I didn't. Take out this guy first. Gosh, I suck at aiming. So he's gonna try to wake up that guard, and we want—we do not want that. So we'll try and disable him now. And shoot him a couple of times. Make sure no one else follows him. Someone spot spotted me. I think he's gonna come over here for sure. Okay. So yeah, we want him to come to us. And we're gonna shoot him in the face. <laughs> oh my. There we go. So there's three down. He's gonna wake up that other guy. We, we're gonna need to disable him. And I'm out of suppressor. So that, that's gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna go ahead and call for supplies now, just in case. Uh, there we go. 
Okay, we knocked him out. I guess we can go and chase that other guy while waiting for the supply and just see you see him or something. Yeah, Want to be a little extra sneaky around here. There we go. Oh, he turned around. Surprise. And captured the outpost. So at this point, I'm my my mother base is overpopulated, but I'm gonna take them anyway. Trying to not paying attention of, of their ranking or whatever, so we're just gonna take them all as well. Now, the reason why we're heading, we're claiming this outpost is, uh, well, there, there's an escort unit right there. Anyway, oh, where was I? Oh, yeah, there's an intel here that will show you the uh, predicted routes for uh, the convoy. So, yeah, we're gonna take him first. Okay, so the convoy involves two tanks and the cargo truck in between the main objective. So getting the uh, intel file here will show you where it's headed. You get that guy. And this guy right here. Now we're going to go ahead and head over to um, an intersection after this. Let me just get this one first. I love how you just scan this thing, it's so cool. I mean, considering it's the 80s and, you know, I guess it's just Kojima things. Am I right? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to that intersection I was talking about. We wanna be here. There's gonna be four guys in a jeep over there, and we wanna take them out because we will be setting up an ambush. Again, this is the, the long route, and so... Um, this is gonna take longer than usual. But, um, that's still gonna give us an S. Hopefully. If, if you know, I do things right. Let's get that... Ride the D-horse over to that, um... Marker. Okay. At this point, if, if your suppressor is, is a little low, you might want to go ahead and um, get a supply drop for that. But if you have around eight shots, then I guess that's cool. So there we go. These are the four guys I was talking about. We want to take them out. And if you'd notice, they're wearing um, vest, flak jackets, I think. What's that? Bulletproof, bulletproof vests and a helmet. So you, you want to go ahead and shoot them in the leg. That's one. That's two. That's three. And fourth one. Let's see. Give a little extra pop. She falls down first. Two down. Three down. And this last guy should be out in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and request a supply drop, not for the suppressor, but for the C4 in particular, because, like what I said, we want to set up an ambush, but since you can only carry four C4s at a time, um, that won't be enough, and I want a little insurance in, in this case, so just go. I'm gonna go and. Uh, Fulton these guys. I don't need to actually interrogate them because um, uh, I th I know for a fact that they'll only tell me about the cargo container or the cargo. So we're gonna go ahead and plant these first four. This should be enough for the first tank. So we wanna group them a little close to each other. Now I'm gonna Fulton Fulton these guys out of here. And get that resupply. Now you want to make sure that um, you, you allot a little space for the second tank. Because if the cargo truck for some reason gets damaged and, and explodes, the mission is automatically fails. So 
I'm sorry, you automatically failed the mission, so. Right now we've got that planted. We want to head on, we want to head up to an, uh, a vantage point. So we're gonna climb up. Well, yeah. And get ready in this location. They're gonna, be, they're gonna be coming from the airport. They're already there at the moment, and I don't know what, what they're doing, but they're gonna be coming from that airport. And let me show you real quick. Let's see, that's the tank. There we go. They're gonna be coming from that area, so you wanna wait a while. Um, for at least, I, I don't know, two, three minutes, I guess. Um, I'm gonna, yeah. I forgot to mention that uh, th this is pre recorded, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut through some of the scenes just you know we so we won't have to wait so as, as, as mentioned there's a tank in front and then the cargo truck and then another tank so you want to take out those two tanks carefully without damaging the cargo truck so I think there's an ex ex extra bonus if you take out the driver as well but we're not gonna do that here we're just gonna go ahead and jack the truck straight up. That's one. And that's two. As soon as that goes off, go ahead and ride your T-horse. And just chase that truck, man. Now, he's heading over to an, an, an outpost, and so... You wanna go ahead and, you know, chase, chase the truck up until the outpost. Um, you don't want to be too close though because if you're too close the guards up ahead will, will spot you and, and and the driver will just keep going, won't stop. Um, if the enemy is in alert status uh, he will, he'll, he'll just keep going so you want to be careful of, with, with the spacing on this one. I mean D horse wasn't particularly useful I guess in this case because I could I could just chase that uh, by foot, but you know, I want uh, I want to bond with him, so <laughs> go ahead and chase that. There we go. There's gonna be a cutscene, and these guys will pop up. And this is the tricky part I was mentioning. That's why you need the battle dress. Um, what you want to do is fold in the truck while they're looking, or as soon as they spot you, there's going to be a little window for you to go ahead and, and fold in the truck. But in this case, I don't think I'm going to make it. Well, I'm not going to I know I'm not going to make it. I'm going to fold in these, the truck, and they jump on it and cut that. So, um, what you want to do is keep them busy. Fire a couple of shots here and there. And... In this sequence, I, I I think I just particularly got lucky because they weren't paying attention anymore. So now I'm gonna fail here. <laughs> Truck fell on me, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna try again, and this time it's gonna go. As soon as you get lift off, oh, that was close. You wanna go ahead and call D horse and just sprint out of there. You wanna just get out of there. Um, I. I I've seen a couple of guides where Snake just, they just, you know, escaped and didn't engage the Skull unit. But that might take a little while as they're a little tricky. Um, I know that it, the, the trick is to just make hard turns and, and yeah, try to avoid that. <laughs> but during the sequence, I was just, you know, I couldn't shake them off, so I even decided to try that, but the chopper won't take you, because, you know, these guys are, are in your pocket, like, I don't know, it's crazy, they're crazy, they're, they're ninjas on steroids, but, um, and then I remembered, I had the rocket launcher, so I just decided to engage and try and kill these guys, um, I know the first time you encounter the skull unit, it 
kind of seems impossible to kill them. But then you'd realize they're not invincible, so... And it, they're killable, and so... You want to go out and just go out with guns blazing, fire everything you can. Um, in this case, I'm just going with a rocket launcher for the meantime, just try to weaken them. Um, right now I have three rockets left, and... I actually thought I was going to fail this mission, but... Yeah. So I take that guy out. No, he's, he is, he's not dead yet. But, um, I know I did a lot of damage that shot. And that other shot. And I'm gonna fire my, my last round here. There we go. There. Now, it comes, you know, you know, the shotgun. It's sort of gonna be like your backup, or your, fi your finisher, uh, for this case, because now that they're a little weakened, so to say, you can just go ahead and pop a couple of shots and hopefully, you know, get a bit of, you know, a couple of headshots here and there. I mean, as soon as you kill one, you, you know, kind of figure it out that they're killable, so just keep running, keep galloping, hard turns, and keep shooting. I know I'm not reloading at this point, I'm, I'm an idiot, but <laughs> it, it was just really tough trying to gallop away and, and, and avoid any obstacles like that and, you know, keep on shooting. Um, there. I think I got a couple of shots that counted. And, as promised, uh, during the beginning of the video, things are going to be intense. So there we go, we killed one, and it was a headshot, and so, you know, be like what I said, it's, they're, not, they're killable. So there's, I think, three? There we go, two down, and two more to go. Um, I'm not sure why I, why I was breaking there, or why D-Horse was kind of hesitant, but... Again, hard turns, hard turns, as soon as one, you know, starts jumping at your side, just go ahead and feel free to pop one. Huh, that's strange. I thought I hit him. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. Keep going. I think the shotgun is a better choice in this case because, yeah, you you, it'll, it'll, you can you can aim better with it. And just you know keep constant damage as opposed to you know firing with a rifle and having eighty percent of it miss. So I think I killed the third guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this guy. This is the last guy. There we go. Now, I know I, 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 um, did, I restarted the mission, but I think the reason why I got an S is because I killed the Skull Unit, the, the entire Skull Unit. Um, at this point I was thinking of going back to the airport and getting, getting, some, getting some soldiers, but, you know, it was... I was kind of tired at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the chopper and see how we do. So again, that's that. It's not the hardest mission. It might be a hard mission uh, during your first run, but uh, I guess the takeaway here is that the skull unit is killable, and so you, you wouldn't have you don't, you don't have to run and escape them. Um, you can engage and kill them and get extra points for it. As you will see here, uh, we got an S rank. Boss. There we go. So yeah, I think mm, the, the the big takeaway there is that I killed the Skullion. That's why I got the S. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in to Power Plays. Uh, we'll see you next time. And if you like the video, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button button for me, please. Like and subscribe. I'm sorry. And we'll see you soon. Thanks.